The decision to release John Warboys, the black cab rapist, after less than 10 years in prison has provoked outrage. But it's come about because his sentence was determined by a controversial, now abandoned policy called IPP. Introduced in 2003, when David Blunkett was Home Secretary, the idea was that dangerous prisoners could be kept in jail indefinitely, as long as the parole board believed they still posed a threat. Speaking for the first time since the board made its decision, Lord Blunkett told Five News he accepts his part in what has now developed. So there are regrets about what's happened? Oh yeah, there, there, are, there are regrets about how it's been done, regrets for those who are genuinely suffering now and a desire to get it sorted out. The original intention back in 2003 was this sentence was going to be precisely for people like war boys who should be locked away until they're genuinely safe. I don't believe he is. I think the parole board have made a, a very big error of judgment. And I think that uh, it's necessary now that we actually find ways of r returning to this issue. Indeterminate Sentencing for Public Protection, or IPP, was designed for serious sexual and violent offenders in England and Wales. When it was introduced, the government estimated that IPPs would be given to 900 offenders, but it was applied far more widely. By the time it was abolished in 2012, there were 6,000 IPP prisoners. A week ago, Justice Secretary David Gork confirmed the government wouldn't seek a judicial review to challenge the release. That it would not be appropriate for me as Secretary of State to proceed with such a case. Lord Blunkett believes it showed further confusion over the case. David Gore, please get your act together, have the courage to be able to sort this out in the interests of restoring confidence in the justice system. But do you take your responsibility as well in terms of where we are with oh, John I, I, I have. Uh, over the last, um, what, eight years since it became clear that uh, th this, the implementation was going badly wrong, I've accepted entirely uh, my part in this. The lawyer representing two of the victims says the length of Warboy's sentence is just one of the issues. If he had had a longer fixed sentence, then, then he wouldn't have been eligible to be considered by parole. Uh, and so, so, so that, would have, that would have prevented uh, that first tier um, decision. But I think we do have to look at the, 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 the parole board decision quite closely in this. To those women who were uh, damaged by John Warboys, I, my message is keep battling. That battle continues, but the likelihood is that Warboys will be free in weeks.